All right, today we're focusing not on sedimentary rocks, but on igneous rocks. Remind yourselves that igneous rocks form from magma that cools or solidifies, right? Hardens. Now, igneous rocks, there are two types. There are extrusive igneous rocks and there are intrusive igneous rocks. The word extrusive, you can see the word exit in it, right? EX means out of. Extrusive igneous rocks form outside of the volcano, right? Out of the volcano, meaning above ground. So out of the ground. Intrusive rocks, well, obviously form within the ground, inside the ground, in the ground. Now, why this is important or how this manifests itself is in the crystal size. In the crystal size. One of the key features of igneous rocks is that it has crystals. So sometimes the crystals are super, super, super small that you can't even see it. So small that it looks glassy like obsidian. Other times the crystal sizes are very coarse or very large. So the word coarse means large. The word fine means very small. So small that you really, it's tough to see the crystals. Um, so last thing before I let you go. Extrusive, right? Out of the ground. Crystal size is going to be... I'm actually going to write this down. So with extrusive out of the ground, crystals are going to be small. Well, why will it be small? It's going to be small because it's out of the ground. So the, the, the rock is going to cool quickly. And since it's cooling quickly, the crystals are going to form quickly and not be allowed to get very large. So small crystals because it cools quickly. Now with intrusive, crystals are going to be large because it's underground. It's much hotter down there. So it's actually going to cool much more slowly. Finally, main point for today. Um, the longer it takes to cool, the larger the crystal. The opposite's true for, for rocks that, from igneous rocks that cool really quickly, right? The longer it takes to cool, the larger the crystal. I think the remainder of this chart you'll be able to understand on your own, to figure out on your own. Um, also, keep in mind this part of the um, lighter color to the left, darker color to the right, lower density to the left, higher density to the right. Um, the word felsic means light in color, mafic means dark in color. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, please call, text me if you have any questions on today's work.